All right, so welcome back. Um, time to complete the last step in this process of the car. Uh, I've waited uh, a couple hours now, and you can see, hopefully, the car and some of the effects that we've done. Sorry, everybody. So now we're on to the acrylic paint which we talked about earlier, but here it is again, available at Michael's and lots of other craft stores. You don't need a lot. Um, this uh, feature I use as a technique, again, for, for rust and, and other kind of a third level or multi-layered approach to weathering, which is key in a lot of things. Here is a car that has the acrylics. You can see the the rust stains, but then I want what I want you to focus on more is the highlights around the door. And that's really what we're going for uh, in this car. Um, I usually have a paper towel handy. Again, acrylics can be wiped off. They take a while to dry. So if you, uh, if you do not like the result, you can uh, you can adjust it pretty quickly, so which is a good thing. So I'm just going to put a little dab out on the uh, out on a paper towel. Again, you don't need a lot in this process. It's more of a layering technique and a highlight. On this car, again, we'll go back to the photo. There's not a lot of rust. I'm gonna focus on some of the joints down at the bottom and the, the running board down at the bottom, the brake wheel and, and some of the trucks, and then maybe fade in a little bit here on the door uh, just to make it look a little, a little darker. Um, but again, not don't need a lot here in this uh, in this phase. The one thing you do need is is its own dedicated brush. Again, you don't want to mix the uh, you don't want to mix the brushes. I I typically use the same ac acrylic brush. Like before, I dab a little bit. You can see here, I dab into the paint and then I let some of it go off cuz again you don't want to you don't want to overdo it on this. You can see I'll just very lightly run it down. You can see if I get a lot on, I can always and show it there. And then again, you just kind of streak it to your liking. Like so. Again, using it more as a uh, highlighting tool here more than anything. And a lot goes a long way in acrylic. So the dabs are pretty important here. Again, I'm dabbing a lot of the little rivets, door holders, clamps, anything that's going to stick out. You'll see here I'll apply it 
to the bottom rail. Um, these areas got particularly cruddy, if you will. And then again, I'll just kind of splotch it and roll it on, brush it out here. And it just gives a really realistic alternate layer. Now, as you see, there's some splotches that are kind of thick there again. So I want to show you, never, never fear, because you can just basically fade it out with the paper towel. And you can see the effect there is not much. Again, like where it's heavy, you can see there was that big splotch there and I effectively got rid of it. But look at the, look at how much deeper and thick and rich that layer is now around the doors. Again, very, I know it's hard to see in this, but very similar to the car in real life. So again, I'm just gonna go over kind of the, the edges there and then Kind of work that upper door rail as well because again these got very dirty and again just running the acrylics it doesn't again you can see I don't know it's hard to see probably but I'm not it's barely coming on but as I fade it in again it just adds a little bit of depth to the car it just makes that stick out more some of the other side effects to the car, I'm going to do the same thing. To the uh, ladders here as well. Just to create that really nice layer. Again, I can't tell you how little, can't emphasize how little paint I'm actually putting on this car. So again, I don't know if you can see it, but I have a little big splotch, little big, <laughs> big splotch, sorry, up at the top, but I just fade it out with the towel and fixed. And then again, I can go back and reapply. Um, I'm going to touch the trucks up a bit. I find it, it gives the uh, after basically dumping a whole bunch of brown powder on it. It makes the, the truck stick out a bit, especially the springs, which look good. And then again, some of the, some of the other details here of the car. After that dries, we're pretty much good to go. Uh, I'll be back here in a second with the uh, final results and you can take a look and we'll go from there. 